One is sort of a reflection from Monday the 9th of September. I was just noticing then that uh, it feels autumnal, is the word I would use this morning. Um, I think it just seems quite dramatically cooler than what it has been. And I know that um, they did say on the forecast and on TV that was the case. Um, but yeah, really noticing it. And uh, I was thinking about the idea of um, transition and changes. And I quite, um, and I, there was a question as well that somebody I know had asked on one of their uh, Facebook pages um, in the last couple of days, which was, oh, what, what season do you prefer? And, um, and I said, actually, I felt like I was a hybrid <laughs> because I really like the, the warmth of the summer and the sunshine on my skin. But I actually quite like moving into particularly autumn and winter because um, I like the I quite like the darker nights, weird as it might sound. I always like this idea of going out on an evening. It never I could, I could never uh, marry the going out on an evening being light. I always liked it being darker. Um, but also I love what I can wear. So I quite prefer to have like. Um, Jumper, long jumpers, leggings and boots. I really feel comfortable in those kinds of things. It just feels like a comfy skin almost. So I like what the winter brings in that sense. Um, and yeah, just sort of thinking about the transition and the change. And sometimes people will talk about it as if it's difficult or, you know, negative. But it also, it wakes you up a bit, I think, as well. Um, rather than like, you know, get used to stuff in the same way become complacent about a season and what that means so and it's just at the moment feeling cooler it's uh, it's refreshing keeps you on your toes a bit more I'm definitely walking a bit faster um, so it's just useful to consider you know what does that mean about tra- transitions in seasons as well because I think seasons often can blur from one to another particularly with um, changes in climate and so on um, but I think it's important for us to recognise that there are, um, yeah, that there are, it, there's an importance about the, the seasons, what they represent and the changes for them as well, in the same way that we have seasons in our life um, for different things, um, you know, stages in life and so forth, um, season to perhaps, you know, have love and laughter, a season where sometimes it's about possibly more loss and moving on or letting go and so forth um so yeah just just really some really short reflections there oh and coming into the um the autumn i have to say one of the things i get really excited about and i'm normally very good at saying or thinking exactly roughly when it's going to happen is um the conkers the conkers like falling from the trees i love that time I've I talked about this with other people before, you know, as soon as the conkers start to come, um, when when my daughter was younger, it was acceptable, you know, you'd be with a child and you'd go and you'd get conkers and that was great, but as I got a bit older and she was a teenager, we still both loved the conkers and we try and make it look really cool and, you know, there's all these tiny children around you and you're trying to look like, no, I, I'm not going to... F- you know, be in competition with you and rush to get that biggest, shiniest conquer there. But we often both knew we were. Um, so yeah, there's something about this season, and it's that they've got to be shiny, got to be just right. The conquers, like no, no dullness, no splits. Um, yeah, no little ring, no little tiny ones that have got all little bumps on them and stuff. Anyway, on that note. <laughs> Um, I suppose it's almost like, and I think about it now as I'm sharing, I'm like, so what gets your conker going? It's almost like, you know, because I'm talking about it now and I feel quite um, excited about the idea of the conkers and feeling quite um, passionate about what they mean and I, I know what sort of conkers I like. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, what's, uh, what, what, what represents the conker in your life? Do you know what I mean? The thing that makes you feel, oh, I'm looking forward to that or getting a bit um excited or yeah by it as well and if there isn't then i would suggest that you start to um explore try look at something new try something new look at what the new season's bringing um often this season you start to see new new groups new courses and so on so it might be worth having a look around and see what's on offer anyway love you loads speak to you later okay bye one foot sparkle bye